Sim here. In today's video, we're going to be checking out an exciting new feature in Tableau Online and Tableau Server called Personal Spaces. Now, this is super interesting because this actually went live on Tableau Online just a few days ago, and you might have missed it because if you've used the Explore button, it would have thrown you off by about one uh, zone here, which is on the left here, Personal Spaces. So what it did for me is it moved everything down and I actually clicked on it by mistake and I arrived at the page and I was like, hey, what is this? So if we go ahead and click on Personal Spaces, um, you'll get to this space. And at the moment, I have nothing here. Now, what's really interesting about Personal Spaces is Tableau is sort of recognizing this desire for explorers specifically to create content and also authors to create content. And there's also this other problem they have, which is when you're doing web authoring, you need to be able to save your content somewhere. And having it go to a project is not necessarily the best thing because obviously in a project, other people can see it. So essentially think of your personal space as a place to start to make content. Maybe it's flows, maybe it's workbooks. And that should be where it goes. Now there is a couple of catches here, of course. There's always a catch with these things. Um, we can only create workbooks at the present. So you can't put a, a draft flow into this space just yet. It's only just workbooks. You can see here it says straight away, create a workbook. And um, that's where it's gonna be. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the create button just to show you that, hey, whatever you build, can actually go directly into the spaces. So I'll, I'll actually go use sample superstore sales very, very quickly. I'll build the most basic chart I can. And one thing I've been saying to a lot of people in this release is that look, a web edit is actually super zippy. Um, and uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's noticeably faster as well. It's not just sort of zippy, it's fast and it's smooth. So that's something to be really sort of uh, happy about. And so I'm just gonna save this. And you'll notice that when I go to save it, I have this ability to save it in a private space. Rather than saving it into a project, I can save it into a private space. So let's go ahead and call this uh, my, uh, and let's uh, put the cursor in there, my first viz in my space. And let's just hit that there. Now the thing is, is when it's in a space, I don't have to think about permissions or anything else. Cause it's just like putting it in like a folder on your desktop or something like that. But it's published on Tableau online or Tableau server. Now, if you're an admin, you're probably wondering, well, oh God, this is gonna cause me a nightmare. Well, not necessarily. Let's just refresh the space so we can see that viz. Admins, what this means is that you'll finally get the ability to connect up all the work that people are creating on their machines. If they start doing it in web authoring, they start creating it in the web, you'll actually get some metadata about what they're doing with that. So fields, the Tableau catalog, all of that works with these with this content. So whilst it's a personal space and you can't explicitly see what's in the workbook as an admin, uh, you can actually get the benefit of understanding what people are using, how they're using it and what they're interested in. And if you have changes or something that impacts a particular field, you can actually start to see what's going on. So if I obviously go to this viz, you can see that the Tableau catalog works throughout this particular viz. And if I go to lineage uh, and I actually go look at this breakdown, you'll see that um, the counts come up uh, in this view. So essentially this workbook, this data source, everything is counted. It's included in our sort of count of uh, items on the right hand side when it's aggregating across sort of different data sets. So if I go to this uh, data source, uh, because we did connect to this workbook, if I go to this data source and go to the page of that data source and then go to lineage, you'll see here that I actually get um, the three workbooks that have been referenced. If I go and click on those three workbooks, I'm an admin here, so I can obviously see everything. You can see the the location here is actually a personal space. So for admins, this is great because you also have visibility now of what people are creating in drafts and just chucking around and they're not saving on their desktop, which is potentially a bad place for this stuff to be. Um, so this is a nice, really nice, nice way of implementing this. Now you can also move content into a personal space. So let's go back to the home page, and we've got back uh, here and you can see here, I have a, a workbook called Superstore version two. It's inside the 2021.2 folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this three dots and I can essentially move it uh, into my personal space. You see that my personal space is right at the top again. So let's go ahead and select that, move the content. And when we go there, it's actually going to tell us, hey, listen, moving this to your personal space and makes it private and not visible to others. So because I'm going from a project to a personal space, it's telling me up front that, hey, there's going to be a problem here. Make sure you're sort of willing and ready for this. Collabor collaboration features will be disabled. Alerts and subscription to the other users will fail if triggered. So essentially, if you've got this in a project and you're moving it out, 
it's telling you, hey, if other people have built some sort of workflow around this, those workflows are suddenly going to fail. So be careful about that. Um, I sort of wish admins could semi prevent this because you might see people moving content and not thinking about the implications. But then also you could build some smart features. So when someone does do this, those alerts and subscriptions become paused and it alerts those users who are getting them that, hey, this has been paused because the author has moved the content into a private space. Uh, something like that. So um, that would be really nice to, to do. But anyway, I'm going to hit move content and it's going to move it over. And you can see that it's gone to my personal space and I actually get a nice link here at the top. Let me click on that and go there. And you can see that the workbook has indeed moved there. So that's something really nice to see here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull up the documentation for this because the obvious thing is, what does private actually mean? What is a you know what is a private place? What 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 is a personal space even? And does, does, are there any privacy impl implications I need to be aware of? And so, I think Tableau have done some nice thinking around this. So, let's go through this in more detail. Content safety of personal space is only visible to you and site administrators. So, what they mean there is only you and the site admin can actually see that the workbook exists. Okay. Site administrators can't directly access any user's personal space or edit content in someone else's personal space. So whilst they can see the content exists, they can't go in and look at it and edit it. So that's really important because uh, you want some sort of trust that anything in your personal space, whether you're messing about or looking at something uh, just for innovation purposes and you don't want that to sort of become public uh, conversation, you need some confidence that they're not going to be able to see that. Okay but they can view and manage personal space workbooks. So what this essentially means is if they see a personal space workbook taking up too, space, too much space, they can go and delete it and move it around and set it up. So in many ways, this is interesting because um, what I'd be interested to do, and maybe I need to try this a little bit more, is if I go to my uh, uh, website, let's say I go create something as an explorer, and then I come back in as a site admin, what can I do to that content? That's definitely a video I should check out. Um, I won't do it in this video because we can get into the weeds just setting that up alone. Um, but nevertheless, it's here in the documentation. You can see the Tableau are sort of acknowledging that there's some mechanics here that you need to be aware of. Uh, personal workbooks appear in administrative search results and as workbook location on the explore page. In addition, the permissions menu is unavailable when a workbook is in a personal space because the workbook is private. So there are no permissions. You saw this a little earlier on as well. Okay, so this is really important. Now, the Tableau catalog and personal spaces is important. The Tableau catalog will continue to index content in personal space and the collaboration tools are disabled. Extract refreshes in, in personal space to limit resource consumption. Existing extract refreshes, refreshes continue to run if they've been scheduled, but new extract refreshes can't be scheduled while a workbook is in a personal space. So in a personal space, you can't set up an extract refresh, but if you take something uh, out, then you might be able to. So the, the hack here is create a project which you just have access to, publish something there, create an extract refresh, then put it in your personal space so no, other, no one else can see it, if that makes sense. Um, so that's, that's sort of the workaround for that. Um, find content in a personal space. Obviously, you've just got this area over here on the left-hand side. You can move content, save content, and more or less everything we've already covered. So I just wanted to touch on that privacy aspect there. So um, site admins can see your workbook. They can't open it and edit it, but they can manage it. I want to know what that manage actually means. Could I essentially get a workbook in a personal space, move it to a project, and then as an admin, open it up? If I, if I can do that, then this sort of defeats the point. Um, so that's going to be interesting to sort of see. OK, but nevertheless, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, all I want to do is cover the new personal spaces. What is really interesting is that I think this opens up the question of whether explorers uh, all have the ability to publish, because essentially they can all publish to a personal space. And all you really need to ask the question is whether they're publishing to personal space or a site. Is there any real difference? Why not just give all explorers the ability to publish? So Tableau haven't really communicated any licensing changes at the moment related to this. I'm anticipating this will probably change in the future because, of course, there's more that might happen around this. Um, these features never come in just sort of one batch. So uh, look out for that and expect some more sort of news on that. But until then, 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out tableautim.com for a full playlist of all these features in a nice presented way, but also uh, check out some of the videos from other releases and discover the content that I've made on this channel about functions and quick tips and uh, lots of conversations about Tableau. It's, it's a really sort of exciting time to be working with Tableau. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.